You don't have to agree to be able to have a good dialogue, good philosophical exchange, and for both parties to benefit. Now, you asked me how does science of religion relate. Of course, uh, uh, the research centre I'm involved with, the Ian Ramsey Centre for Science and Religion, um, it's quite an important centre at the Faculty of Theology and Religion. But of course, Oxford is enormous. There's so many faculties and, and centres. But what I think it does do, this uh, particular research, is it encourages, uh, it enables um, students uh, and faculty to explore um, big questions. Uh, so we have a dinner once a, year, once a term where we have um, scientists uh, and philosophers and theologians all meeting for a dinner and discussing ideas about God and divine action and providence and religious ideas, and, and the physicists love it. So um, uh, that's the sort of thing we could do. And by the way, I also you know, will dialogue with, with, with agnostics and with atheists. Um, there's a famous atheist comes to my office once a year uh, and we'll talk for three hours on anything. Medieval theories of light, evolution, um, life and death, all kinds of stuff. And we both enjoy it enormously. And that's also a good thing in Oxford. You don't necessarily have to agree on your first principles, but if you want to find truth and you want to engage in respectful dialogue, it's a great place. So um, I just want to I, I just encourage that, really. Uh, with our own centre, it's only a, a small part of many other um, activities as a university. Um, but I think it's, uh, it's got a good spirit. And last year, um, we discovered a lot of students uh, want to take the Science and Religion course in the Theology and Religion faculty. I think precisely because they can have some intellectual fun um, uh, exploring uh, big questions. So a final comment uh, on um, new atheists at, uh, like Richard Dawkins associated with Oxford. Well, Oxford is very, it's like a, a big umbrella. So, like gardens have many different kinds of creatures in them, you know, you've got rabbits, you've got snakes. Um, we have all kinds of people in our garden, and um, there are uh, I mean, the people of faith, uh, people of no, uh, for philosophers or agnostic, um, new atheists and so on. Um, but generally speaking, we, we, what, it works well if we keep an, an attitude of courtesy, uh, mutual respect, and seeking after truth, and we all get better through the dialogue. Very important. We all, uh, you see, if I dialogue with someone else and uh, that person's wrong and I'm right, then maybe I can help that person. But if I'm wrong and the other person's right, I can benefit. You don't have to agree to be able to have a good dialogue, good philosophical exchange, and for both parties to benefit. Se você quiser saber mais sobre esse assunto, aqui na descrição a gente vai deixar links e mais informações. E se você gostar desse vídeo, não esquece de curtir, compartilhar, comentar e principalmente se inscreva no canal da TV Nups para não perder nada de novidade que sair.